everyone, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to pick up the topic of joy again. So last week I talked about the definition of joy, um, what Google tells you, and also, you know, my personal definition, which segues into this, this week's. So um, I'm just going to share a little bit. So my journey of joy has been a good one, um, but it, it has ultimately been centered around God. So um, like I said last time, my middle name is Joy and I grew up kind of feeling, not because anyone told me, but um, something that I put on myself is just like, if because my middle name is Joy and because I'm usually happy, I need to just be happy all of the time. And that's not what Joy is. Um, I can't produce Joy. It's not something that I can produce. It's something that God gives. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do like a three point thing for you today on, um, how I receive joy because joy does not come from myself. Um, it comes from God. And, um, just to give a little bit of reference for that in Nehemiah eight ten, it says the joy of the Lord is our strength. And, um, so where does joy come from? The Lord, the joy of the Lord. Um, uh, it's, it's not my joy. It's, it's the Lord's joy that he, you know, has. And so, um, also just like a side note, the context of that in Nehemiah is the people are actually grieved. They're like literally crying. Um, and Nehemiah is like, guys, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And they look to God, um, like remind themselves of what he has done in the past. And then they actually feel joy. So their circumstances are still like, you should be crying, but they are feasting literally and dancing because they just reminded themselves of God's faithfulness. Um, and I kind of stopped it abruptly last time because I was starting to get into this with my definition of joy, but my definition of joy is just, you know, um, that settledness and I don't have to be happy all the time, but I can actually experience, um, I can experience life fully, even if I'm sad, because I have hope in Jesus, basically. Um, So yeah, so that would be my first point. My second one I'm going to say is found in Psalms 1611. And um, it says, in his presence is fullness of joy. And in his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So I feel the first question that people have is usually like, well, where does joy come from? Because I can't produce joy. Well, joy comes from God because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And then it's like, okay, well, God has the joy, but how do I, how do I get it? You know, and it's actually found in his presence. Um, so, you know, that's the answer to that question, which I I think it's really simple. Um, but it, it is very quickly followed up by yet another question of, well, how do I get into the presence of God? So you're telling me that God has joy. You're telling me that it's in his presence that I'm able to get it, but how do I get into his presence basically? And, um, that is kind of a whole nother thing, but I'm just gonna really quickly run down and tell you what it looks like for me. Um, so getting into the presence of God is basically, you know, putting myself aside. So, um, whatever I'm going through, wherever I am physically, just kind of closing my eyes, kind of forgetting about it. And then I just tell myself who God is. So I know who God is because I read the Bible and the Bible tells me who God is. And I also have personal experience with God. And so if I'm feeling anxious or just sad, honestly, there are situations in my life where I just feel really sad because things aren't happening the way that I want them to. And I just say, God, you're good. You know, you always come through. You are so faithful. You've given me promises of life. You've given me promises of Yeah, you've just, you've, you've given me life in the past and I know that you're going to do it again. And I just, you know, tell him who he is. He's faithful. He's kind. And, um, 
And then it's, and then I am in the presence of God. And when I am focused on God, then, uh, then I have joy because he, yeah, he just brings joy. And I, I really don't know how to explain it, but that is how I, how I'm able to be happy. So in any situation, it's not just brushing off that I feel bad. It's okay. God has joy. I need to get into his presence to get his joy. And how I get into God's presence is just reminding him of his faithfulness and how good he is. And it just, it does, it brings life. It brings joy into my heart. And so, yeah, that is how I, how I receive joy from God and how I am able to live a joyful life because in any situation I can look to God and, um, you know, just see his goodness and no matter what a situation is, <clears throat> I can't name them because they're personal. There's stuff in my life now, but any situation I can look at God and I know that he's going to come through. Like I know he's faithful. I know he's good. And that just brings me joy because then I, I don't have to be sad anymore because I know there's a happy ending. So yeah, I guess that's all for today. Um, next week, I am not going to be talking. Hopefully I have an idea. I don't want to say it because I don't always do my ideas, but I'm hoping next week is really fun and more of like a, a demonstration of what joy can look like in your life. So thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.